you pass laws that are seen as anti-gay and lesbian, uh, Viktor Orban, your prime minister, becoming very close to China with business deals, blocking even the EU from issuing a statement condemning China's backing of anti-government crackdown protests in Hong Kong. Uh, why be a member of a club whose rules you don't seem to want to follow? So I think uh, here we do definitely uh, have to stick to the facts, otherwise uh, we go into a discussion which doesn't make uh, any sense. These kind of what accusations was, what was uh, are out there against about Hungary what I for, for a long I mean, yeah, but I mean, I would be really grateful if I could just answer one part of your question. So if you are really uh, curious about our position, then I can tell you that uh, that uh, we are committed uh, members of the European Union. We want European Union to be strong, stronger than currently for sure. But uh, our position is that uh, with creating a United States of Europe, it's not going to be possible. Mm -hmm. We need strong member states because strong European Union can be based only on strong member states. There's a very, very uh, serious ideological debate uh, between mm -hmm. Brussels uh, and us. We are definitely a right-wing, patriotic government, Christian Democrat which goes totally against the uh, liberal mainstream, and it is successful. And we understand that this uh, cannot be digested by Brussels. We have not passed. We have not passed any kind of anti-gay law in this country. The Hungarian parliament, uh, which has been elected democratically, uh, has passed a law uh, on protection of the children. And this law ensures that the, uh, that the, that the right uh, of, sexual, of sexual education of the children is an exclusive right of the parents. It doesn't say anything about the LGBT community. That's lie. That's fake news. Okay. Well, there are differences of opinion on the interpretation of the law. 